How y'all doing? I'm good, I'm good. How y'all doing? Kind of stumbles up off the gate, and you come out and have one of those games where you just are all over the field. Every time you play me, they're calling your name. See what your thought was. Then you played. Um, you know, uh, just we know we knew that on offense, on their side of the ball, they were uh, kind of banged up on offense as old linemen. So we kind of took that as advantage as defense and D line trying to get after them. So um, we 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 held it on our shoulders, defense. You know, like this is the game. You know. Uh, for us to step forward from where we was at last week, and uh, you know, we're just getting started, and uh, we're just moving forward from there. I think a couple of weeks ago, I think you and Dave Quinn said you felt like the defense was really close. Yeah. Is this kind of the, the product of that? Yeah. Story? I mean, you know, we're just getting close, but then again, there's still a lot of plays that was left out there um, we could uh, improve on. So um, always room, room for improvement, and us as a defense, we're just getting started, and you know, the arrows pointed up, and that's the direction we want to go. Seven, seven seven back game. I mean, that's yeah. fun, right? Yeah, that's fun. I mean, <laughs> I'm just happy to be on the winning side of Colin. That's it. You know what I mean? And uh, and having the guys, man, just seeing everybody with the great energy. Um, we put the work in all week, and to see our fruition come to life, I feel like, you know, uh, that's the moment you know we're having fun. You guys talk a lot about about you're not there yet. You don't think you're there. You're not showing everything that you guys yeah. want to show. But how close are you though? Ever performance? I mean, there's like I said, I man. This this game is not played by perfect men, you know. Um, there's a couple of plays out there where if you guys watch, uh, go in a room with me and sit down and watch this film with me, man. There's plays out there, you know, and you know um, I can have the safety. I'm um, having my back on on that, you know. I missed a, a drop or I missed a pick, and like I said, we're getting there. Just there's little things that's you know um, in the way, but these are the stuff we're gonna get over, and um, that's all I meant by you know moving forward as a team. Danny, you guys talk a lot about like complimentary football. We've seen the offense and what they've been able right. to do. To see the defense and the offense really working together today, how much fun is that? Man, that's so much fun. That's how football's supposed to be played. Um, you know, offense, um, you know, get they get a turnover. We come on a field, we have a field goal. Special team comes in, put us in a field position. Man, that's just football, and um, you know, that's how it's supposed to be played. Brady, you talk about playing with um, Bobby Wagner. Coach Flynn mentioned that you were the easiest game. Yeah. He's the kind of this quiet force. Yeah. You're, you bring the energy. Let's speak a little playing with Bobby. What you've learned in these five games that we have so far. Uh, I'll say just somebody easy to play with. Uh, dude is just, you know, poised. He's put in the work all week. You know, his study habits is crazy. I'm picking things up. Like, we, like today, like there was a play where it was like they came out empty. And he was like, hey, Frankie, just alert that two week on the week. He's going to do an option route. He's going to drop right in the curl. And he do it right behind me. You know, so, I mean, the dude just seen the game so much, I feel like it just slowed down for him. And that's something I kind of picked off and, and picking his mind towards it. But, man, the dude is just easy to play with. I mean, I'm just blessed and be, a, um, you know, something to be a part of. And, and while he's still playing, man, I'm blessed. Frank, as a defensive player, you played against some great quarterbacks. When a guy like Jaden goes off schedule and just licks it 40, 60 yards downfield, what is that when the guy's covered and he right. just puts it in the one spot that he could be in? What does that mean? Man, it's just, it just fires us up because we know what Jaden put in all week. You know what I mean? The kid shows up at 4 a.m. and he's already lifting in there. Um, I mean, me and Bobby walk in like at 5, 6. Like, dude's already done with his film tape. He's done with his lift. Like, he's he's already a step ahead. So, like, to see that and what he does on Sundays is not, like, shocking. You know what I mean? So, um, it is to the world because, like, the dude put in a week of work, uh, work in our week. So, um, you know, it's, I mean, it's the law of conversation, man. What you put in is what you're going to get out. And, you know, for him to do what he does, man, it just fires us up and, uh, you know, just have us keep going. Um, after three games, you didn't have a sack yet. Last week, you had a half sack and a fourth fumble. Today, two and a half sacks and a bunch of other things. Was there, were you assumed it was coming, but was there anything that sort of in between there kind of clicked for you or you kind of just felt more comfortable? What was it that led? Uh, I mean, you know, just, I, they just call the call and I just trying to be in the best position I can, you know, I, that's out of my control. And uh, when the, the plays are there to be made, you know, I'm trying to capitalize on it. And, you know, so, I mean, 
I'm just, I got two drinks, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stick with that and drink on some tequila. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're at the little breaky. Uh, you talked a little bit about your relationship with Bobby, but that play specifically, you forced him to fumble. Yeah. You're able to growl that and head upfield with it. How fun is that play specifically for you, Bobby? Man, I should have scored on that. Yeah. Any, anyways, uh, yeah, I we knew on film that uh, Deshaun likes to escape in the B gaps. So when I was coming around the edge, I was like, oh, I'm going past him. So I kind of countered back. And so when I countered back to the B gap. I just see him like looking around, and Bobby just kind of hit him, and the ball just like. It couldn't get any better. It just landed in my hands, and DA hit me. You know what I mean? I made a move. DA hit me. But anyways, it's it's fun, man. That's when the fun of football kind of gets in, and um, you know, having everybody in the whole sideline, the offense coming in and, and capitalize on that is complimentary football, like you said. And you know, it's just it's fun. That's one. And then Coach Witt has talked about the complimentary game within the complimentary game. So in front of you, that defensive front. Yeah. Uh, is there anybody that in front of you specifically is kind of standing out this season that's helping you facilitate you? Man, I feel like the whole front, I mean, the, first, the whole front seven and the back, you know, um, uh, secondary. Um, I mean, J.A. and Payne, you know, they're, man, top dogs, man. And uh, for them to do what they do, taking double teams and for us to just play freely, me and Bobby to, uh, you know, back them up and be racers, um, I mean, it's fun. But at the end, the end of the day, man, the credit goes to them because you can't, you know, everything kind of. Um, connect with each other, so you know we can't do our job with, with, with them being up front and being dogs. Thanks, Frankie. I appreciate y'all. I'm going. Thank you.